Here's a little riddle for you. What do you get when you cross a hot dog with the wrinkled ball sack skin of an 85-year-old man? That's right, you get a basset hound. These little doggies are like walking stuffed animals that take massive shits and howl like Shakira sings. If you're a Shakira fan, we're sorry to be the ones to break it to you. I mean, you really gotta admit, her voice is just something weird. I know she's from another country, but is there an accent? Is it like opera and pop mixed together? And what was that weird thing she did at the Super Bowl? Whoa, calm down, Jamal. Hey, at least her hips don't lie. Wait, what were we talking about? Oh yeah, basset hounds. They may look like long walking tufts of skin, but believe it or not, they're pretty awesome. Here are 10 facts about basset hounds that may be lies or maybe not. Who knows? A drunk guy wrote this. <coughs> Number 10. Basset hounds are technically dwarfs. I mean, when you look at the basset hound, does this fact really surprise you? They're like the Tyrion Lannister of the dog world. You were making jokes about my height, I seem to recall. All bassets have a condition known as a chondroplasia, which is a common form of dwarfism in humans and sometimes dogs. For most dog breeds, a chondroplasia is considered a defect. Not for the basset hounds, though. It's actually their defining trait as far as how they're built. So next time you decide to make fun of their short statures, be sure you don't post about it on social media. You'll end up getting cancelled for making fun of a disability. <laughs> Number 9. Apparently, these little shits were bred to hunt in packs. Who would have thought that these little pint-sized dogs were actually bred to hunt? What the hell are they even hunting? Well, according to the internet, which is the source of all knowledge and understanding, they really like chasing rabbits, squirrels, raccoon, you know, all the little bitch animals that couldn't feed anyone anyways. But whatever they do end up hunting, they do so as a team. One of the side effects of this pack hunting mentality is that it makes them more social, which in turn makes them easier to own as pets. It's rare that you'll ever see an emo basset hound. Number 8. Basset hounds have a history of identity issues. According to the website we're paraphrasing, these dogs date back to sometime in the 16th century or something. But back then, they weren't basset hounds. They were just hounds. Little bitch hounds. However, there was something that had to do with the laws and breeding and keeping track of the breeds or some shit. I don't know. I'm drunk. But fast forward to the 19th century and the early 20th century, and breeders crossed these bitch bassets with bloodhounds. This happened because the bassets had threatened to sue and cancel the owners for not recognizing their breed identities. One specific breeder, Mike Oxlong, ended up losing his job because he refused to bend to these demands. Long story short, the bitch bassets are now basset hounds thanks to social reform. Number 7. Their floppy ears have a purpose other than looking stupid. Believe it or not, basset hounds have the second best sense of smell next to bloodhounds, making them insanely good at sniffing ass, as well as other things like tracking. Here's the thing though, their sense of smell isn't only due to their noses. Strangely enough, the floppy skin around their heads helps them with their smell. As they walk along tracking the fierce bunny wabbits, their ears waft the scents towards their noses. Their vagina-looking neck skin also traps the scent of their intended prey, which only amplifies their already powerful noses. So yeah, their floppy skin actually had a purpose. Number 6. Time Magazine Made These Guys Famous so, basset hounds were already very popular in Europe, which isn't actually saying very much. Europe also gave us Volkswagen, slim fit shirts, and the Spice Girls. It took them much longer to find popularity in the United States. It wasn't really until the early 20th century when people in America started bringing them home. This is because Time Magazine featured a basset hound puppy on its February 27th, 1928 cover. So, in typical American form, they became slaves to the new trend and started purchasing basset hounds left and right. Number 5. Elvis Presley was kind of stupid. Oh my god! Okay, it's happening! Everybody stay calm! What's the Everybody procedure, everyone? Calm. What's the procedure? Stay calm! Wait, 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 wait! There, 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 before all you music people start calling in a hotline to give us shit, you need to hear us out, okay? You know that Elvis had that song called Hound Dog, right? First, it was written by some people named Levier and Stoller, and second, it wasn't even about an actual dog. But when Elvis recorded the song in 1956, he changed the lyrics a whole lot. Then he went on the Steve Allen show and sang the song to an actual dog. Here's the thing though, it was a basset hound and not a bloodhound, which are the dogs that are commonly referred to as hound dogs. The soon-to-be fat singer who wore sparkling onesies on stage got the entire breed of dog wrong. What an idiot. <laughs> Are you serious? If you do find yourself pissed off beyond words at this entry, please feel free to call us at 1-800-EAT-FARTS, email us at elviswasamoron at eatfarts.com, or leave a comment below. 
It'll really help with the watch time and we'd greatly appreciate it. We love our oversensitive viewers. Number 4. There was a Basset Hound that was unlucky enough to be owned by Marilyn Monroe. Marilyn Monroe was the hot lady of Hollywood for years. We hear she even had a little thing with JFK for a while, but y'all don't want to talk about that, do ya? It's all Bill Clinton and Monica, right, you wieners? Anyways, Marilyn owned a Basset Hound, and it probably lived a terrible life. This isn't because it was Marilyn who owned it, mind you. She also owned a chihuahua named Josepha and a poodle named Math. We should point out that chihuahuas should all go straight to hell. He's a chihuahua! I can touch you! <laughs> Luckily for the hound, Marilyn and her husband at the time, Arthur Miller, got a divorce and Miller took the hound with him. Monroe died 19 months later as a direct result of a vicious chihuahua attack, while the Basset Hound lived for a few more years. Number 3. Basset Hounds Were Mascots You heard us right! There was a company out there who took a look at the saggy jaws of this creature of destruction and said, let's use that to attract people to our business. There was a company called Hush Puppies Shoes. Early in its history, a salesman learned that the food Hush Puppies was named after what hunters fed the hounds with to keep them quiet. Those hounds were barking dogs and his customers had barking dogs or aching feet. The shoes were originally called lasers, but were later renamed to Hush Puppies. This story is, unfortunately, true. It's like a bunch of dads sat around at a conference table spitting out dumb dad jokes and settled on this one. Well played, dads. Well played. Number 2. Television has been in love with Basset Hounds for years. Well, this fact is a little dated, but who cares? Call our hotline if you don't like it, but in the 1950s, Basset Hounds were frequent characters in TV and movies. Some of the shows and movies they appeared in include The People's Choice, Columbo, The Dukes of Hazard, Coach, Judging Amy, and That's So Raven. If you've never heard of these, it means that you're not 80 years old or you have a good taste in shows. Unfortunately for the Basset Hounds, Hollywood leans more towards the bigger and scarier looking dogs as opposed to the wrinkly, howling ones. It really is discrimination, but no one's paying attention. Number 1. The people in Concord, Ontario suck at politics. So what does this have to do with Basset Hounds? Well, in 2011, the people of Concord, Ontario decided that the best person to fill the seat of co-mayor of the city was not a person at all. It was a Basset Hound named Victoria. Now we know what you're thinking. Stop being so critical, she was only co-mayor, that doesn't mean the Concord sucks at politics. Oh yeah, did we forget to mention that the other co-mayor was a Great Dane? Whatever, given the recent political climate, maybe it wasn't such a bad idea after all. So there you have it. Basset Hounds have really made a name for themselves outside of their weird looks and dumb howls. Would you own one? Let us know in the comments below. Also, it would be nice if you could give this video a like and subscribe to the channel while you're here. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.